The world has been transformed. Learners have evolved. How will we prepare our students for their future, not our past? First of all, we recognize it is the power and the passion of our classroom teachers, not the technology, that has the greatest impact on student learning. So please journey with us as we take a look back at teaching and learning in 2011 and look ahead to what is in store for us next year. Improved communication. In 2011, students and teachers communicated with each other, primarily via face-to-face, -face, through our assignment notebooks and through our binders. 2013, now we have more options. Our communication tools have expanded to Gmail, Gchat, and Google Calendar. Students and teachers can communicate better. Since I forgot when the science project was due, I saw that Lilia was online and chatted her. So I asked her, Hi Lilia, when is the project due for science? And then I sent it. Hi, so I'm at my house right now and I was on my Google account and then I got this chat from Rachel asking, um, hi Lily, when's the science project due? So I'm going to just check my Google calendar and see that it is, now I see that it is due on Friday so I'm just going to do that and send, I sent my message to her. So now she will know when the project is due, and it's as simple as that. We've also improved communication by being able to comment on each other's work. I'm getting feedback from people in my writing circles group on how to improve my story. Improved collaboration. In 2011, to collaborate on projects outside of school, students needed to try to meet at someone's house or do the project over the phone. So, did you guys want to meet at your school today to work on the project? Are you kidding me? We have volleyball. Oh yeah, I forgot. But it's due tomorrow. What are we going to do now? We're just going to have to talk a little bit. Is Olivia home? Hi Olivia, can you work on the project tonight? Oh, you have to go to your grandma's house? Um, how about if I call you later? Okay, talk to you soon. In 2013, enter Google Apps and other online tools. Aaron and I are working on a combined document. Here he is finishing up our list and I am finishing our rep. We use textbooks as resources. We analyze text and use internet resources. Two thousand and thirteen. We are student centered and we have devices to help us learn independently. For example, I was wondering, is the correct spelling of the Egyptian god Ra or Ray? So to answer our question for our project, we're contacting an expert in Egyptology. Hi, I'm Roberto, and I'm wondering which is the right spelling of Ra or Re? Well, hello, Roberto. What an intelligent young man you are. You notice that it's spelled R-A and R-E. Both are correct because in English, we were translating from hieroglyphics, which used a different alphabet. So sometimes... 
the Egyptian god, the sun god, is spelled R-E, and sometimes it's spelled R-A. Okay, thank you for the answer. You're welcome. More creativity. In 2011, we definitely had opportunities to be creative, but sometimes we were consumers of content in the classroom, not creators. In 2013, we create more using Google Apps, online resources, and mobile devices. Our teachers create student-centered classrooms where they are the lead learners. Together, we can make me more in charge of my own learning. For example, we are creating a digital ebook to, pu to publish our findings on our study of Kenya. Our ebook will be available on any iPad, Kindle, Nook, or any other mobile device. Publish versus print. In 2011, we printed a lot. We got our feedback on our work, mostly from our classroom teacher and our classmates. Page 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Oh, now it's out of paper. <laughs> In 2013, we publish more than we print. This means I can use things like Google Apps and blogs to create a portfolio of my work and interests. So, because everything is online, I can get comments and feedback from my classroom teacher, my classmates, our principal, my family, and even my grandma in Brazil. I feel like I have a voice. Digital and mobile. In 2011, textbooks, papers, and flash drives were everywhere. Here is what a typical locker room will look like. Yes! <laughs> 2013. This is how my locker will look like in 2013. Now we are digital and mobile. Goodbye paper, goodbye school network, and goodbye flash drive. Do we even need lockers?